January 2nd, Cotton Bowl Day in Dallas, and sunshine fell on Texas for the football classic of the Southwest. 40,000 football fans witnessed the third annual Cotton Bowl Classic between St. Mary and Texas Tech, including 3,500 members of visiting Texas high school bands. Ruth Davis, paramount star of Hollywood in the cotton country, wishes luck to the great star box, star half of Tech. And here's the kick. A ton of surging manpower against a ton of brawn. Akins of Texas Tech takes the ball on Tech's 20 and returns it to the 23. On first down, Torbox, Tech's mighty right half, carries the ball for a gain of seven yards. On the next play, a pass by Akins' left half was intercepted by St. Mary's right guard. After some kicking and punting in Tech's territory, St. Mary gained and lost the ball in the fourth down kick, which was run back seven yards by Akins. On first down, the pass from Akins was fumbled by Webb, who lost the ball to Smith of the St. Mary Gales. It's first and ten for the Gales, and Ramasters goes around left end to be felled by Scott. A series of passes and line charges gained little yardage for the St. Mary team until Heffernan passed to Perry for a gain of 15 yards. He was brought down by Tarbox. With first and ten to go, Heffernan carries the ball around right end for the first score. Perry kicked high and handsome for the extra point. Scores St. Mary seven, Tech nothing, and St. Mary kicks again to Tarbox. Good for a 12-yard comeback. After several minutes of hard fighting and well-coached football with both teams gaining little, the quarter ends with St. Mary in the lead and in possession of the pigskin. Early in the second quarter, Klodovic carried the ball 11 yards to place it on Tech's four-yard line, and after the second try, carried it over for an additional six points. A successful kick by Morefos brings the score up in. Tech, nothing. Morefos kicks for the Gales, and Torbox received the ball, being forced down on the Tech four-yard line. After three unsuccessful tries, the ball goes over to St. Mary, and after a series of intercepted passes, finally makes good with ten yards gained by McNanny, who was brought down by Barnett, and the pass from Heffernan to McNanny was completed for a 20-yard gain to close the half. Score, St. Mary, 14, Texas Tech, nothing. Between halves, college and high school bands strutted their stuff to add to a gale of festive spirit. Jimmy Dorsey led a mass rendition by 30-yard high school band, while Slip Madigan gave his gales a pep talk. And Ruth Davis signed a car load of autographs for youthful admirers of his mimic and music of the cotton country. Tech President Clifford Jones reviewed highlights of the half with Brother Albert, President of St. Mary's. From left to right, the Honorable Ex-Governor of Texas, Pat Neff, President of Baylor University, Clifford Jones, President of Texas Tech, and Adjutant General Nesbitt, fine time for a chat. Miss Opal Hill, Cotton Girl of the Nation, was presented. She is from Tech. And so back to the second half as St. Mary kicks off to the Red Raiders. Heaven and does the kicking and the Raiders bring it back to their own 20. Halfback rings the ball through the line for a gain of four yards. On fourth down, Tech kicks to St. Mary. Ramas is taking the ball and is down on the 50-yard line. In a fast play, Heaven and of St. Mary carries the ball around right end to be stopped by Webb and Williams of Tech. Fast plays with little gains stacked up for both teams as Tech endeavors to even up the score in a great display of fast-moving football. Tech's defensive is stronger, and their offensive play is constantly showing a new fighting spirit to the man. And with but a small part of the quarter left, a pass from Holmes was intercepted by Smith for an easy six points. Perry, who tried the place kick for extra point, missed. Score, St. Mary 20, Tech nothing. St. Mary again kicks to the Red Raiders, and Hill receives driving hard back against the Mighty Gales for five yards for first down. Thus we close the third quarter, and comes the fourth, when Tech starts its comeback. Shortly after the fourth open, a pass by Barnett to Marrick saw a first down for Tech after a spectacular run on the 33-yard line. From here, Torbox darts around and receives a pass from Barnett and legs it 23 yards for a touchdown. The kick for point was good, and with the score 20-7, Tech fights gallantly to boost the score. The Red Raiders receive on their own 34-yard line and fight with an indomitable spirit through a melee of kicking, passing, and line scrimmage to come through with a pass by Barnett to McKnight for a second touchdown for Tech. The kick for extra point failed to click, and the Gales refused to part with the ball again. So to the winners go the good wishes of Coach Pete Cawthorn, center, as he congratulates Slip Madigan, coach of St. Mary. And to the winners, Coach Madigan and his galloping Gales, goes the $5,000 Sanford permanent trophy. It was a great game.